Well, last weekend was the big Connecticut Antique Machinery Association show called CAMA, and it's up in Kent, Connecticut. They didn't have it in 2020 because of COVID. They had it this year in 21. So I spent three days up there, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I didn't really take footage of our little setup, but I had maybe six tractors up there, and I had my Fairbanks hit and miss engine. And my buddy Dennis came, and he hung out, and he brought a 424, and he brought a Model L. And then we had some other guys come up. Another guy, Cedric, came up, and he brought some uh, Model L Gravelys. One is repowered with a Honda. And we also hung out with our buddy Barry, who brought a little wheel horse. But it was a lot of fun. Met a lot of viewers up there also. So I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Gravely has not been started for two years. And we're going to see if we can fire it up and bring it to the Connecticut Antique Machinery Association show. This one is always finicky as far as where the throttle likes to be. It kind of likes full throttle. And you put the choke on. Geez, it's in there so tight that I don't think I can get to the starter button. Try to wheel it out a little bit with my foot. I put a little bit of gas in it, not much, just a little. Let's see what happens here. I wanted to go. Take the choke off. See what we got. I think it's an idle and I should have it in full throttle. Hmm. Let's see, how does this throttle linkage go? I think that's idle. Let's push it down and go the other way. tractor what the heck the thing is little dude in the men's department man four horse two speed 25 inch it looks like it's got a push mower briggs in it huh. that's interesting
farm alls over here. This really nice red engine. It's pretty cool. Usually these things are green. I don't know what makes this one red instead of green, but definitely a neat piece. Big Farmall 460 over here. A little close to that. Pretty neat. Steaming up the train this morning. Pretty neat. Drag it out with this little Plymouth diesel. Steam it up out here in the yard. It's pretty neat. Some old engines over here and old brakes, a tapered shaft with a generator, and uh, this Wisconsin over here. I have no idea what that thing is on there, whether that's some kind of clutch or whether it mounts to a generator or something, but it's got gears around here, some kind of shaft on there. I don't know what the heck that thing is, but it's kind of neat. There's also Nice uh, rock museum here, too. I have a fake uh, mine here with dynamite and rock crushers. And all the bricks in the floor are from different local places that back in the day made bricks. Uh, talk about gold over here, all kinds of stuff. Got a room with dinosaurs and stuff. The other room out there is all rocks. And then over here we got a dinosaur. All kinds of stuff. Pretty neat. A bunch of stuff out back here. Projects that have never happened or whatever. There's a 30 horsepower steam engine. Fury steam engine. Some hit and misses over here. Some more international M's, whole bunch of them, whole bunch of stuff, and old compressors, you got an Alice Chalmers grater over here, that thing's pretty big, I have seen that run before, and uh, some kind of engine back there, I don't know what kind that is, Giant back leaf trailer, maybe. That's a huge yeah, check that thing out. Big, huge, giant back leaf trailer. This is old uh, white truck here. It's pretty awesome. 1925. It runs and he's driving it around the other day. It's definitely cool. Steaming up the steam tractor here. Hooked up to the sawmill over here. That's a long belt. Just got the shingle maker here. It smells so good, these cedar logs. The chips down there, they smell so good. It's hooked up to this engine over here that they just got. I don't know what kind of engine that is, but it's huge. Fairbanks Morse Z, it says. That is a cool engine. Look at the water barrel hopper it's got and everything. Just some neat stuff. Cool. This is always one of my favorites, the Cat D2 with the belt set up. Hooked up to the New Holland Rock Crusher here. Number 12 Rock Crusher. They're crushing rocks yesterday. Filled up this little hopper with them here. It's pretty neat.
here's the small engine room here. Got all these engines in here. All kinds of wacky things. Got newer, say Briggs and Stratton sign, whatever. Whole bunch of really old engines down here. Pretty neat. Briggs FH. Got a outboard motor over here. All these little generator type deals, all kinds of stuff. Rio, Salisbury, never heard of half these things. A Toro engine, they're pretty cool. All kinds of stuff. A Tecumseh sign, all right. Wow. 